I have been working really hard trying to get better at World War II online because in this game you can do absolutely anything from flying planes to driving tanks to being a sniper, a machine gunner, or really anything else. But the learning curve is steep and everybody else that plays this game is quite frankly way better than I am. So I have been working with a number of different squads who take this game very seriously. And now that World War II Online has voice communications, it makes it that much easier to coordinate with other players inside the game. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at my attempt to act as a saboteur, infiltrating a city ahead of the main forces in order to take out key emplacements. But as things heat up, I have to keep switching to bigger and bigger roles. So let's get into this match. And of course, if you want to join the battle and play World War II online for free yourself, you can click the link down in the description and download it off of Steam right now. Now, what I'm gonna be playing as today is a combat engineer. Now the combat engineer actually has high explosives and a cool thing about about World War II Online is everything in the city is actually destructible. So I can actually destroy buildings, but most importantly, I can destroy emplacements such as AAA emplacements or what I wanna go after right now are some of these machine gun nests that I am going to sneak up on. Now these machine gun nests are manned by AI. There's a bunch of AI emplacements in every city, but if I can take out things like machine gunner nests, anti-tank nests, or even triple A positions, that's going to pave the way for our armored forces and our air forces to come and either bomb this city into oblivion or bring in the heavy armor, which is essential for protecting infantry who can then capture the objectives. All right, this is the first objective right here. Luckily, I snuck around. Lose the anti-tank guns. And this, I can uh, move this MS a little closer. This AI is not going to see me. Goodbye. Well, I mean, it'll take a second. It's a timed fuse. Ah, there it goes. Boom. Oh, hey. And look, I also destroyed the you building. The grenades too. I destroyed the building next to it. Uh, and again, I mean, every single one of these buildings is technically destructible with these high explosives, but I only have four of these, and then I'd have to rearm. So I'm going to try to make good use of these. All right, here is the next objective. If we get the spawn, I won't move the MS up because we can get anti-tank guns from North CP. Goodbye, other AI machine gun emplacement. But if we get ECP, I could move it up so we could warp. Boom. No, absolutely. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start capturing these objectives uh, because that's the whole point of this game. It's basically like an MMO battlefield game where you capture these points, which are basically flags, and once you capture all of the points in the city, uh, you own it, and you can then attack the next objective. Now, just click each CP, it'll show you where all the AI are. Oh, I actually did not know that. Really? All right, so we're with some of our other squad members now because now that we've captured some of the critical points in this city, reinforcements are starting to pour in. And the reason there wasn't that much resistance in the beginning is I kind of snuck into this city ahead of time and took out some of the more critical objectives. Because again, that's the cool thing about this game is the players decide... Oh the players decide which objectives to fight over across the entire map. And there are hundreds, if not thousands of cities throughout the entire map. And once you get a critical number of players attacking an objective, it turns into an official objective for the entire team. And that's kind of what we've done here is we kind of send in a few people ahead of time to sabotage some key points because all of these cities are defended by at least a handful of AI. But then, oh, like that guy right there, once the enemy forces start pouring in, we will hopefully have at least a little bit of an advantage. Kind of messed up that grenade. This thing right over here is another one of those objectives that we're going to want to capture. 
And I've only got my car 98 because I am just a, a small combat engineer, but I'm going to make the best of it. Now, I really do like the game mechanics in World War II Online. It is a dated game, but there is still nothing else that does gameplay on a large scale like this. And I hope... Oh, there's an enemy. Obviously, I am not very good at shooting it that far away, but I'm going to try. If there were more games, you know, even games like Squad, uh, or even games like Project Reality, my personal favorite, that were able to achieve this scale of gameplay, I think that that is inevitably where gaming is headed. Oh, oh enemy. That is an LMG as well. Let's see if I can get a grenade off at him. And that went on to the second floor. Not ideal. There's his leg, though. I could shoot his leg. Uh oh Oh, that was close. Okay, I got Somebody him. Somebody stay back and keep an eye on the spawn, please. So, I do really hope that one day... Maybe one guard from the SP and one from the CP. Hopefully before I'm, you know, dead. No, no, the North it, it would be great if we could have something like Squad, but on the scale and with the large-scale gameplay North mechanics North of World War yeah, II Online. All right, things are really starting to pick up now. We've got enemy armor on location. Yet, but I think we have a tiger north. Now, hopefully there's going to be friendly armor yeah, coming in, which is why I am going to start marking targets on the map of where this enemy armor is. And that's where the large-scale team play elements in World yeah, War II Online sure come into consideration. Sometimes it's not even as important to get kills as it is to mark targets. Ooh, that's an enemy. Oh my god, he moved at the last second. I don't know if I just got him. I hear a tank. I'm just going to throw a grenade just to be sure. And uh, that was a smoke grenade. Here's the frag grenade. Oh, well, smoke grenade's probably not a bad idea in this instance as well. And now you can hear things really starting to pick up. I might I'm have not to... I'm sure, but an anti-tank gun might have shots on that North CP. I might have to fall back and get some different equipment here maybe. soon. Because it's going to start getting much more difficult to capture some of these points. With this amount of intensity building in the AO. But let's see what I can accomplish. We've got an objective here. Oh, that was an yeah, enemy. I saw him. Three CPs and an AB. And as you can see at the bottom right-hand corner, we're now capturing this objective. So this is yet another objective in the area. But I have to see if I can kill this dude that's up in here. Because that's the closest. Yeah, I have visual on EI. Let's get some frag grenades up here. Oh! How did you survive that? I don't understand how he survived those grenades, but it's whatever. All right, so now we are going to attempt to capture this objective. And after this objective is captured, we're probably going to fall back and get some different equipment because things are heating up and this car 98 is not going to last forever, especially against that Firefly. But that Firefly's commander is out. Let's see if I can kill that commander. Did I get him? Oh, I think I got him. I'm not sure. All right, so that Firefly is probably angry now. But we're gonna hold in here. And we're going to capture this objective, no matter what.
Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh, that was so close. That could have ended horribly. Oh, is he gonna leave? I hope he's gonna leave. Maybe he's just repositioning. Yeah, he's definitely just repositioning. Oh, no! No, come on. Come on, Blue Drake, you can do this. You can survive. Oh, and I've got it captured. So there we go, we just took this objective. And now... Nice cap. Thank you. Now we are going to skedaddle, because as much as I would like to stay here, there is no way I am going to fight that Firefly. And we'll probably head back and we'll get some more equipment, too. Alright, and by more equipment, what I mean is literally a tiger tank. So, we captured a couple of objectives, and I went back and got a tiger tank, and now we are going to try and punch a hole straight through the city by taking out some of those armored units that were harassing me earlier. I can't really see what that is. Ooh, it might be a firefly. I can't tell if I, I... Am I tracked? Hold up, one second. Something's wrong with my my track. I think my, my gear is still... There we go. Okay. Stop. Stop moving. All right, let's get in our optics. Where are you? Oh, God. Good thing this is a tiger tank, and it can take a good chunk of punishment. And looks like we've got two tanks. I don't know if you guys saw that that bullet to the left just ricocheted and hit me. More tanks. They're probably on the north edge of the town, but they haven't come out of town yet. All right, there we go. We just hit this tank twice. I think he's a goner. All right, yes, he's gone. Let's see if we can't finish this guy off. Yeah, I hear E out by the MS. No viz, though. Oh, incoming. It looks like a lot of the shots he's getting on me are just actually bouncing off of the ground. Like that one just went straight up into the sky. Alright, let's see if I can get a little bit closer. I am a tiger, so I'm pretty sure I can just eat some of these rounds. He might have hit my track, though. I can't tell if I'm tracked or not. Ooh, I might be. Hold up. Either that or I'm just Only stuck. To move or unless someone can see you. Okay, there we go. So how do you choose a different location to spawn? Oh, this is going to be hard. Uh, well, you, I just want to get a little bit closer so I can take this guy out. You know what? I might actually use... Come on! I, I might be able to disorient him with a coax. I don't know how much the coax actually disorients the enemy. Okay, well, let's stop and let's finish this guy. Can you guys hear me? I can. Copy. What was to my left? Is this blue too? Oh, come on. 
That's correct. This is two, two. You said something was to my left. Yeah, I think it's an infantry sniper. I just took. I guess there was an infantryman yeah. to the right there that I just took out. I, I just got a new computer, and when I tried to set up, I forgot to set the uh, gun up so that I. That was a direct hit. Let's get another one of those. I saw him and missed him with AP. Boom! Uh, you're Target destroyed. That's how it's done. All right. Let's see if we can head the rest of the way in yeah, and finish capturing this city. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it gave you a little bit of a better idea of the types of things that you can do in World War II Online. There is nothing like this game. It is a completely different experience than anything else you've played, even though it is a little bit old. But hopefully here in the near future, they're going to be revamping this game in Unreal Engine, which I think if they pull that off right, it could be one of the coolest games to come out in the coming decade. Besides that, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, and as always, if you want to play World War II online for yourself, link is down in the description. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.